hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is maureen my mic is bad it would not work with my phone and i really have to make this video so please bear with me uh, with the audio this is another video this is a whole different video from anything i've ever put on my channel well i really need to make this and the first video is just basically a story time and a little i wouldn't say advice but just a little guideline i don't know what you're going through right now what um life has hit you with the cards that life has dealt with you but at the end of this video you will know exactly how to come out from whatever you're going through so um growing up i had a very very peaceful and a very loving childhood i had a very good life my parents gave us the absolute best that they could give us at the time and it made me grow up as a very grateful child I was very very grateful for everything i think from 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 childhood i already knew that okay i have a life that people will literally um do anything for i had a good life and with a grateful mind and i've been going through my teens and everything to my current age my current times now with that mindset that i'm grateful and i'm blessed so after the pandemic i had like pandemic was one of the first times that i really just sat back and sat down and like you know what, what is my life and what where am i going and what do i really want out of life i sat down and i planned my life pandemic and then 2020 towards the end of 2022, 2021, 2020, 2021 was good. And towards the end of 2021, I literally lost everything. I lost everything I've ever worked for in my life. I lost everybody that I thought was going to be there for me to the end. Like I, I thought it was going to be me to like leave this earth. I lost everything. So um, coming into 2022 was very strange to me. It was very different from the kind of life that I'm already used to. You know, kind of things I already have. Kind of the kind of joy that was always in my heart. So it was very new being in that situation, having to go to bed sad, having to wake up sad, having to, you know, just honestly feel alone. You know, I was literally fighting for my life every morning. And the annoying thing was on the outside, this was the time that I was doing the best. This was the time I looked the best. This was the time I had the most money. This was the time I was the finest. You know, but within me, I knew that I was not happy. I was losing myself day by day, I was losing a grip of myself. And what I'm about to share with you right now is the exact step-by-step um, -step way of how I came out from that dark place. And I've never been as happy as I am. I've never been as grateful as I am. I've never been as peace. I've never had this much peace in my entire life. So this video has is something that I should have made a long time ago. If I when I first wanted to get, um, get on YouTube, I feel like this was the first video that God wanted me to put out. This was the first video He wanted me to make, but I was very stubborn about it. I really, really, <laughs> I'm not with it. You know, I just want to do vlogs. To be very honest, I just want to do vlogs because I feel very safe speaking to the camera when I'm vlogging. I'm showing like recommend. Oh, sorry recording stuff that i'm just sitting and talking plain like i'm not trying to come on here and advise anyone that's not what i want my channel to be uh, to be like well, like i'm mean, initially when i was planning i didn't want my channel to be a channel where i'm coming to give advice but to be very honest it's just the path that god chose for me and i just i've accepted it and i've embraced it you know i just have to do it so to, before the end of this video you're going to know exactly what you need to do to get out the position that you're in so like i said so when all these things was happening when i was having a very rough time I had my back against the wall like I had no choice there was nobody to run to and that's not what I'm used to you know I'm I'm honestly I'm used to always being loved guided protected taken care of like always being around people that got my back you know so all these times I was like is it my fault was I do something wrong did I uh, did like I was trying to play where I did something to deserve what I was going through at the time but thankfully for me I had the result because I have a very resilient spirit besides anything i always like fights you know i'm never down so i think it was so new to me like to wake up and be sad or to wake up and have no zeal to like go through the day and for a moment there i kind of lost my my gratitude i wouldn't say i lost it but i kind of started to forget that i'm actually blessed and there's so much to be grateful for so and i think one morning i woke up 
and the, the night before I actually cried to bed I was crying and I cried a lot and I cried and I slept over and then the next morning when I woke up I think because my bed I have a mirror I had a mirror just facing my bed my apartment and then maybe I woke up I had cried so much that last night remember I said this is the time I looked the most the finest so when I woke up and I looked in the mirror I just saw a reflection of my face you know and I just said to myself like I was literally so sad this period this is my thought oh my god at least I'm still fine <laughs> you know at least I'm like oh my god I cried today and I'm waking up and I still look fine that's what I just said to myself and that thing just actually clicked in my head down where is that girl that girl that like always sees something in everything to be thankful for where's that girl that literally always finds a reason to say thank you and the funny thing is that at that moment when i looked in the mirror and i said oh i'm so oh thank god i'm even pretty i did if i'm going through anything I, I don't look bad you know in the mirror i'm not i'm not looking like what i'm going through at the time so and that was like what i needed to remind me that there's so much to be grateful for and from that day, I started to, when I wake up in the morning, I'll just say to myself out loud things that I'm grateful for. Oh, I wake up, oh, thank you, God, I wake up today. The days that I have money to eat, I'll eat. If I don't have money to eat, oh, God, thank you, I'm okay. Because, like, I mean, I have options. I have, I can call my dad, I feel that I need money to eat, but I don't want him to be worried about me. You know, he's going to be so worried, like, come home, if you have to ask me for money to eat, because my dad knows that I, I have myself, like, I have... I can take care of myself to an extent. So, I, I mean, thank God that I have the option to actually call home, but I'm not just calling. So people are actually down bad that they cannot call anybody, not because they don't want to call. You know, so I started to wake up with that thought, and I was, every day, every day I wake up, I just say to myself, I'm thankful for this, I'm thankful for that. And I started to see changes. Nothing changed on the outside of my world. People that left me, which now I understand that it was time for like a new journey, they didn't come back to me but everything got better so nothing changed outside of me outside of my life but within everything changed when i started to really practice guys to come back to practicing gratitude and that season just taught me that there's nothing that i will go through in this life that i will not come out from because of practicing gratitude there's nothing that will happen to me that i will not come out from that i will not be able to make it to the other side because of practicing gratitude so i don't know what like it's going on with you i don't know how bad it is i don't know what is your situation but let me tell you something the power of gratitude can literally change your life one thing about me yeah people that come around me my people they know this if you come around me i'm definitely going to rub off for you if you're not someone that's grateful already you're going to learn how to be grateful for me i'm just so grateful it is not an affirmation it is not something to try to stay it has sinked into my blood i have now become a grateful human being and because of that alone i found peace genuine peace peace in all circumstances there's this video i was watching when burner boy said that we're all him where he said um rush like you know ship is on water here yeah? so ship is not sinking because it's around water it sinks because the water gets into the ship and he said we're all shaped and then we are on top of water you know what i'm saying so he will never let the water get into his ship he's always going to float he's just going to stay because he knows that oh, there's no way that he can operate beside beside not like not being on water so he's never going to let the ship the water sorry he's never going to let the water get into the ship to sink him and that's just so when i watched that video i was like yes that's just that's really the the um representation of what life is about because we're always going to be on water problems are always going to come you know but if you let the problems make you lose sight of what the blessings that you actually have what you should be grateful for and there's that's when you begin to drown you know so i don't know whatever like i don't I, I i really don't know why i'm making this video to be very honest like I've, I've had it in me to like make this video since i posted my first ever vlog honestly but i've been just been pushing it but i just want to make this video and get it out of my system so i can go on with my life you know my other videos but if you ever like are in a situation where you feel like you are stuck and you don't know how to come out from it you don't know how to um you don't know what like you cannot explain what's going on you 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 feel so much guilt and so much anger just count your blessings 
the year it made a lot of sense to me like honestly that's just what life is we're all on top of water and then if you let the water get in that's when you sink because there's literally no there's literally there's no place you're gonna get to there's no amount of more money you're gonna make there's no amount of more beauty you're gonna acquire there's no amount of love you're gonna be in there's nothing that's really going to give you that um sense of achievement or oh, yeah okay now i can stop we're humans i feel like wanting more is all it's all it's just it's like it was it was it's what makes us human and problems always come do you understand you're never going to be in a place that you say okay this is the end i'm not going to try to make my life better anymore i'm not trying to make money i'm not trying to buy new things you're always going to want more you always want to get better so i feel like problems are always, always going to come there's never going to be a point that okay, i've made enough money that i'm never going to have any problem again in my life you're going to have problems so does that mean that we cannot go through every day and enjoy life because we're having problems and that video really just explained it to me and ever since like i said i've always been a grateful person i've always but when i actually started to intense immensely practice gratitude for like to the core was when i i i when i when i started to really practice gratitude here was when i actually went through what i went through you know and i i came out i, I came i came what's the word god I came on the other side like i saw the other side of it from actually just practicing gratitude that's when i knew that okay gratitude is really just the key because one thing for sure is no matter how bad your situation is no matter how you think that oh you're living a bad life like god does not you god is trying to punish you whatever it is i'm telling you that somebody that will take your situation like they're literally praying to be in your situation there's somebody that will literally take your position that will switch places with you without even thinking twice your life is somebody's prayer point no matter how bad it is no matter how bad there's something there to be grateful for if you, your, your your problem is financial problems the fact that you actually woke up that morning you woke up on a bed let's say it's even that bad you woke up on a mat you literally just woke up that means your journey is still ongoing your journey has not finished there's still hope for you and there's nothing that can kill a man that has hope so please this video is just the power of gratitude honestly and another thing again that literally will change your life and will take you from any situation that you're in right now to where you are supposed to be or will give you peace of mind like we just give you a happier life is actually living in the moment in the present in the now sometime in 2021 i was having a discussion with my friend and um i was hanging out with my friend and then he noticed that my body was no i was not present there you understand and he was like he was aware of that on me and it was like what's wrong with you i didn't want to stay at first but later on i told him what the problem was and he was like okay um we're supposed to be hanging out right now you know exactly what he said it's like so we're supposed to be hanging out right now and you're letting this thing bother you from the moment that we're supposed to have because he doesn't say in the country that like, i'm going to travel very soon and i would like this moment that we're supposed to have you're letting something that happened earlier today um spoil this very moment and then he uh he asked me well i told him everything that happened and he was like okay is there anything you can do about it right now i was like no there's nothing i can do he was like think i was like no there's nothing i can do about it I was like okay now thinking about it from now to tomorrow is the what what happened is it going to change like no it's not going to change he was like then just forget about it because it's not going to change you thinking about it from that tomorrow is not going to change it and there's nothing you can do about it right now and he was like if there's something you can do about it right now do it do it right now but there's nothing you can do just let it go because there's nothing you can do about it and it's literally not going to change and that just clicked in my head like that thing he said he might not even remember <laughs> if he watches this video he might not remember he's the one i'm talking about but that thing clicked in my head when i tell you that thing changed me the everything in my brain it literally just changed a lot in my head and that's how i deal with problems i'm going through this now okay what can i do about it right now um i can do this to make myself feel better make the situation better i'm doing it straight up there's nothing i can do about it i'm letting it go this even this is about relationships friendships situations fumbling money whatever it is if i can do anything about it right now i can do it i'll do it straight up but if i cannot do anything about it i'm letting it go 
because my present moment is all I have. My present moment is so special to me. I don't care. I know that tomorrow is going to be bright. I know that tomorrow is going to be bright, but I'm not going to have a tomorrow if I don't have a today. So I already have a today. A today is promised to me. Like right now is what I have. Right now is what I can make use of to make my tomorrow better. Do you understand so i am working with what i have right now in the moment i'm living in the moment and i'm grateful for that very moment i'm grateful for everything i see things differently like my 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 brain is wired differently i see things i see like people could be seeing a problem and i'm seeing what to be grateful for or it could have been worse thank god it's even coming the way it's coming like this it could have been worse it could have been worse because no matter what you think it, it can actually be worse so honestly, gratitude and the power of now was how I survived the darkest moments of my life. And the fact that I've harnessed, I feel like I'm completely 100% um, um, qualified to tell someone to practice gratitude and to live in the present. I am 100% qualified to tell it to someone because it is my life. It's what I do. It's how I'm surviving. It's how I'm, I'm shining. It's like, that's the path. So I can say to someone, it's not something that I'm, I'm not perfect yet, but like it's something I can say to someone. Just start practicing gratitude right now. Start being genuinely grateful. Let the let God know that you're grateful for what you have. It's just like us human beings. Yeah, imagine you have two stars, Peter and John, and then you come back from work and you give John hundred naira, and John says, ah, "Madam, thank you very much for the naira." And then you give Peter hundred naira, and Peter says, "Oh, thank you very much for the hundred naira, ma. God bless you. Thank you so much." Tomorrow you come back from work, you give the John 200. I said, Madam, thank you for 200. You give uh, Peter 200 naira. And then he goes and says, Oh, Mama, Madam, thank you so much. Yesterday you gave me 100 naira. Today you give me 200. God oh, bless you. Thank you very much. You come back the next day and you give, the, you give both of them 1,000. One is, Ah, thank you very much for the 1,000. The other one, thank you. Ah, Ma, yesterday you gave me 200. Today you have given me 1,000. You have solved my problem. Thank you. God bless you. And then one day, one, the other one comes to you and says, Ah, Ma, um, you have you gave me one thousand. The problem where I get now ten thousand full silver more. Imagine how you have ten thousand naira. Who among the two of them? Who are you really going to give that ten thousand naira to? You're going to give the person that is like shows more gratitude. That really appreciates it because. He is gonna. He has a use for it. But if I'm giving you more and more, you're not even seeing the use. Like I gave you hundred naira yesterday. I gave you two hundred. I gave you one thousand. You are still seeing it that I have not solved your problem. I'm never going to be able to solve your problem. The person that's already appreciative is the person I'm going to keep giving. So please don't ever let us lose sight of gratitude and living in the present. Because the present moment is all we really have. That's all you are promised. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We all want a better tomorrow. We want to stay alive. We want to live better. But there's no guarantee. Yes, the word of God, yes, that's guarantee enough. But I mean, what you really have, what your promise is right now. And I feel like when you really start to practice gratitude and living in the now, honestly speaking, you can come back from anything. You can come back from anything because you know that, okay, this, whatever you went through didn't take your life. At most, it took some money from your account. It took some people out of your life, but it didn't take your life. One of the pain that I know I don't really speak on, I cannot, I never ever do is grief. I don't speak on grief. By the grace of God, I've never lost anyone, and I intend to. I'm so grateful for that. God, only heaven knows how grateful I am that I've never lost anyone I love. So I don't speak on grief. But I mean, if you look at, if you think about it, yeah, every time that you try to like um, um, go through a situation with um, worry, like you're worrying about it, it's not going to fasten solution. It's not going to bring the solution faster. You're just depriving yourself of joy and peace in the present moment. If you're going through something, you're worried. You're not at peace. You're not at rest because you're trying to, or you know, um, worry about how do I get out of this mess? How do I get out of this mess? I don't go through problems the same anymore. Like ever since then, I go through problems differently because one, I know that I'm going to come out of this problem certainly. And I know that I'm going to come out from this problem a better person than I went into the problem. I'm going to come back, come out from this problem a better person. So if I'm going through the problem, that's why it's like I, I have a, I, my life is perfect. I don't have a perfect life. It's just that I'm very grateful and I'm grateful for the now. So no matter what life cards that life deals me, I'm going to come back from it. As far as I'm alive, I'm going to come back to you by the grace of God. So, this is just what I want to say in this video. Practice gratitude and live in the present. That's how you can come back from anything. And you guys, I, another thing I want to say is the kind of music that you listen to. You need to listen to songs that 
um, the, 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 the songs that have the kind of lyrics that, the kind of life you want to manifest. You know, you need to listen to songs that remind you that there's so much to be thankful for. You need to listen, listen to music that, that, like, there are songs that, gospel songs, even normal um, secular music, they're very nice songs that are talking about, that talk, that sing about gratitude and how you should, like, how blessed you actually are. Those are the kind of songs that you should listen to when you, you're going to try to, like, make it out of something, you know, when you're trying to practice gratitude. There's music for that. And also, like, um, there's a book that I highly recommend that anybody that wants to like that listens to this video and wants to apply it into their life, go and get that book. It's called The Power of Now Ekato. I have read so many self helps self help books to a point that I feel like I can write one. <laughs> I feel like I can write one at this point more. I mean I saw one TikTok video of Iman and Iman said that if that's another journey the, your ego the death of your ego and i feel like that's where i am at now I, i'm in a journey where i am trying to kill my ego i just want my ego to die it's not a very funny it's not a very nice journey to be on but it's something i know that god can do for me and he said when he was trying to get help he was reading these books with his whole mind but the moment he said to like practice and is getting where he wants to go he doesn't read as much because he's reading like what, is, what are they really trying to tell me? I know all these things. And I feel like that's where I'm at right now. I've read a lot of self-help books that now I don't even read as much. I'm currently reading Atomic Habits. But self-help, like I don't read as much anymore. And I feel like that's that's one thing. That's my flow right now. Because no matter how you know, you always, there's so much to learn. You don't know shit. Like you don't know anything. You always, there's so much more to learn. So having the mindset of, oh, I know, I don't need to read anymore. That's rubbish. That's rubbish. So I recommend this book 100% The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. Get it, read it, and practice what is in that book. And then practice gratitude. There are scriptures that you can use to speak over your life. One thing about me, I don't get my definition from anybody but from the word of God. I don't get my definition from anything on this earth from the word of God. Because things have changed. People can change. Seasons change. One thing that doesn't change is the word of God. I'm not a perfect Christian. I'm trying. And God is behind me. God is by my side. He's leading me trying every day to better my relationship with him but he put me on this earth he's the only person that can define me if you buy something you go to the manufacturer of that thing to go and if there's having a problem go to the manufacturer and say ah i bought this torch light please can you help me fix like do you understand you cannot buy a dress and when the dress is giving you issues you want to return it you now take the dress to where they are selling microwave it doesn't make sense so I was brought on this earth by God. So if I'm having issues, I go back to God, his manual, what he said about me in his word. And that's where I get my definition from. So you guys should, I, in the description box, I may leave some scriptures down below that will help you. So you know that, okay, um, I'm practicing gratitude and I'm backing it up with the word of God. If I'm thankful for what I have now, he's going to give me more. I know that this situation I'm in right now is not the best. I want more. But I'm still thankful that every day I can still open my eyes and I can go. I'm like, I'm still alive. I still have zeal to fight. I still have hope in me. Don't let nothing steal your hope. Don't let nothing steal your joy. It's not worth it. Okay. So please, guys, I need you guys to um practice gratitude if you are subscribed to my channel i want to tell you congratulations already because like we are heading to the top the best of the best like i said it's only the ones of the ones that are subscribed to my channel Tim someone said that it's only goats used to attract goats that's how you know you are the goats when you're attracting the goats but if Tim someone said that you know you're the goat when you're attracting goats because sheep they be blind af so everybody that subscribes to my channel is the goats so if you're on my channel, I just hope that this video can brighten somebody and remind you that there's too much to be thankful for, one, and the present moment is all you have to make do of what you actually want. That future that you feel like is so far, 10 years is just here, bro, like it's crazy. So you have to like start right now. Right now, if you're having bad days, depression, whatever, use the scripture of God to speak over your life. That's not what God said, said about you. God did not put you on this earth to be depressed and sad and be having anxiety. That's not what he said about you. So go to the scripture and check word, words that were spoken over your life by your father. That's the words that you used to pray over your life. That's the words that you speak and declare over your life. Listen to music that resonates with what God says about you. And then read books that can also help you manifest this good life. 
by practicing gratitude and then living in the present. Do the best what you have in the present moment. Start from where you are right now. Oh my God, if only I knew all the things that I know now when I was in my teens. Oh my God. If I knew the things I know now. But it's okay. That's my own journey. Do you understand? So I feel like I'm the only girl from my family. So everybody on my channel, I look at them as you guys are my sisters. You guys were related. So I'm not going to come here and try to put up a perfect life. There are days for that. It's not like, it's not like I even intentionally want to put up a perfect life. But there are days that my life just looks like it's perfect. But I want to be real. I want to be real on my channel. That's why I open this channel. I want to be 100% real. Let like you know that this is, these things, like life that we are in, Mm -hmm. You have to chop life or life will chop you. <laughs> if you don't chop life, child life could chop you. Do you understand? You have to chop this life or this life will chop you. So yeah, I just hope that somebody enjoyed this video. And if you're not subscribed at this point, please subscribe. <laughs> please subscribe. Okay, I'm at 92 subscribers. I can't wait to get to 100 subscribers. I'm so happy. And I hope the I hope that the audio of this video was not so bad. Also, I hope um, the quality, the lighting of the video as well wasn't that bad. And yeah, if you guys would ever want to see a video like this, I'm not promising. <laughs> but just let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about. If I know anything, if I feel like I'm qualified, I'm going to speak about it. But please, yeah, I want you guys to practice gratitude and live in the present moment. And I promise you, no matter where you are right now, tomorrow is going to be a better day. If you wake up with gratitude in your heart and use what you have right now to start Make the best of what you have. Make the best of what you have. That's the journey I'm on. And I want everybody, like I want my people to be on the journey with me. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.